there is a great big enemy you face in your venture to write and publish a book. That enemy is powerful and could stop you if you don't watch this video. If you're working on a nonfiction book but you haven't published it yet, then this video is for you. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad from Book Launchers. We're your professional self-publishing team helping you write, publish, and promote a nonfiction book that will help you have a huge impact on your readers. And done right, will help you grow your brand, build your business, and make you money. The best part? You keep all rights and royalties. I fear you're making a great big mistake. Everyone in LA gets divorced and does drugs. The woman I often considered my greatest inspiration in life wrote that to me in a four page letter after I told her I was leaving Canada and moving to the United States. My late and dear grandma Broad, the woman who taught me it's my own fault if I have a bad day. She was trying to convince me not to pack up my newborn son and husband and head south. At 40, I was making a radical change to support my husband's dream, but in my heart, I knew it was the right change for me too. California was calling. Her letter shocked and hurt me. And I figured if I could count on anyone's support in this adventure, it would be my always positive, strong grandma. You probably have someone like my grandma Broad in your life telling you not to write your book. They care and they're probably trying to keep you safe in their own way. Unfortunately, that advice only keeps you small. Nobody ever made a great impact on the world playing it safe. But your friends and family aren't your biggest enemy when it comes to writing your book. Your biggest obstacle to becoming an author is a lot harder to ignore. When you start putting pen to paper, the question arises, who am I to write a book? It makes sense. A book is a proven way to become a known authority, boost your business, and give you a public profile. When you get close to achieving that kind of success, all kinds of freaky demons bubble up from within. <laughs> You're gonna have questions like, am I worthy? Maybe I got to where I am because of luck. It's easy for me, so maybe it's easy for everyone. Or I'm not special or different in any way, so no one really needs me or my book. Fear of what other people will think and insecurity around your expertise and experience rush in from everywhere. And suddenly, a book seems like the wrong move. Know that almost everyone suffers from imposter syndrome when they write a book or perform on stage for that matter. It's normal and it's probably good. It means you'll work that much harder to produce something that matters to your readers. It also makes it more likely you'll bring on the professionals required to make your book the best it can be. If you start feeling like this, think back to the goal you have for your readers. Remember how your book is going to make your reader's life better and reconnect to the hook of your book. That hopefully will get you reinvigorated. And remember, you only need to be a little further down the road to success than the person you're trying to help. You don't need to be the best, the greatest, the richest, the prettiest, or the most successful before you can help someone with your book. In fact, those books can be hard to relate to. No, you really just need to be you. So tell your imposter monster to zip it, zip, and get to work. Your reader needs you. When you write the book that needs to be written, not the one that you think will make you look good, you can fight the monsters that burble up from within you. <laughs> Pound those monsters down. <laughs> but you still have to decide what goes in the book. And that's what we'll be covering in great detail in Self Publish and Succeed. This was a short excerpt from chapter eight. Got your copy yet? If you do, please read it and write a review on Amazon. It's the greatest gift you can ever give an author. And we're gonna have a great big party when we hit 100 reviews. If you haven't got your copy, head to selfpublishandsucceed.com for your buying options and incentives. The link will be down below. Now, I wanna hear from you. What do you tell your imposter monster when it pops its ugly head up into your life? Let's chat about it in the comments below. And when you comment the day a video is released, you'll be entered to win some sweet hashtag no boring books swag. We have new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Make sure you catch everyone by subscribing to the channel and turning those notifications on. You're fun. Do you wanna hang out a little more? This video right here is on building a brand from your book and it's pretty awesome. But if you've seen that, YouTube believes that you really need to see this video right here. Either way, it's pretty much a guaranteed good time. So please click on over. I'll put the coffee on. Always decaf for you, my friend, Kevin McGuire. I gotcha.